Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's adventure, I am taking you to the ultimate princess room in the Disney Resort. This is Port Orleans, Riverside, the princess room. Let's do it. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Just come in the visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time stayed in a princess room once before, but I have never had this spectacular view. So you can see I have the Sasagula River right here. Absolutely epic. Um, so there's a lot of princess rooms kind of like dispersed throughout the resort. Um, the last one I had, I think it was on the first floor, um, but it was very dark and it was sort of on the walkway. I mean, I'm still on a walkway technically, as you can see, and there's no like seats or any sort of balcony out there, but it is quite beautiful um, to just keep those curtains open and just see the river, the Sasagula River. I'm excited to see the boats go by and this place is so spectacularly romantic at night. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And of course, I have my ladies, my favorite ladies. I really need my tiara on, so yeah, I need to fix that immediately. I'm just trying to figure out which bed um, Goldilocks wants to be in tonight. And here's the queen, Tiana. So I just love these rooms. They're so magical. If you have a princess in your life, I think you need this at least one night. So um, it's, it's just, it's very magical. Now, one thing I will point out, this is a thing with me, I'm sure most people are like, get over it. I love carpeting. <laughs> so I don't know this whole new thing. I, I mean, I get it in terms of like, you know, it's a lot easier to clean, it's very sterile, it's just a lot easier to be nice and tidy and clean, I'm sure. But it makes the room really kind of cold. So as you can see, it's beautiful. They did a gorgeous job of sort of incorporating the princess theme with the wood. Um, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm a carpet girl. So you just have this cold floor, like you're gonna be getting out of bed and it's like, you know, it's cold wood floor. I guess you just bring slippers or socks. The touches in this room are so spectacular, but there is nothing, there is nothing that comes close to this. How 
how gorgeous is that? Both bets. So cute. I love it. I mean, stop. They need to sell these. They need to sell these. I'm first in line. say enough about this resort. I know I've done other videos about the Port Orleans Riverside, but it is so beautiful. I find this place just incredibly magical. Like it's so peaceful. It's so charming. The prices here are really good. Now this is not a DVC resort. I don't think. No, it's not. Um, so this is the building I'm staying. It's literally at the end. Now if you just keep walking down this path here, you're actually going to hit the Port Orleans French Quarter. So Port Orleans is made up of two resorts. One is the Riverside. That's this one. That's where the princess rooms are. And the other one is the French Quarter. Now, Riverside, <laughs> it's absolutely enormous. Like it's huge. It's got tons and tons of these beautiful sort of little bungalow cottage type rooms it, it and it all has this kind of well it's all very new orleans and very southern um it's just uh, it's so beautiful but there's a real princess element to it as you can see the flags here rose red tiana bell i'm mean, so cute and charming and sweet uh, but the princess rooms are next level and on this pathway, as well as the one over there, you'll see the horse and buggy carriages going through all night long. Oh my God, look at this. The lanterns just lit up. I mean, it's just, <laughs> this is the hidden gem. I don't think people know about this, honestly. So all that is to say, the this is not a DVC resort. Um, I come here for staycations and I swear you can get rooms 100 200 dollars i think the princess room i'm staying in is like 240 or something um which is you know for disney a really really fantastic price but it is so magical it is so charming and i mean look what's coming towards me right now like you just don't see this in disney resorts it's really really special Beautiful. All right. Well, good morning from the absolutely gorgeous Disney Springs. So, basically, when let's cross here, when you stay at Disney Springs Resorts. That's going to be your Port Orleans Resorts, your Saratoga Springs. Um, they have access, uh, boat access, usually, to the gorgeous Disney Springs. It is so lovely. It is such a tranquil, beautiful way to get here. But I will tell you, it took one hour by boat last night. So I took the, bo the bus back. And today I drove because the parking is super easy. So I recommend driving. So I think I got to Disney Springs by car in about 
less than 10 minutes. So, and pro tip, I always like to park at, I think it's called, actually, sorry, I'll have to find out the name of the fruit. Lime is a very good garage, but then it's the one at the end. It might be orange. Um, there's usually, sometimes it's closed, surface parking. So we don't actually have to go up in the um, parking structure, which for whatever reason sometimes feels like it just takes a little longer. There can be lines, harder to find a spot. Okay, I absolutely love Disney Springs on in the mornings. <clears throat> coming here around 10 right before the restaurants are open it's so beautiful shops are just opening up but there is one thing you can always depend on the insanity of people's getting in succession <laughs> the line is insane like I guess maybe they're not doing the virtual queue right now or anymore I don't actually know it's been a while I think once you've had one you might be good for a while, um, <laughs> but you gotta try it. I mean, you gotta try it. Like you have to try it. So I get it. But that line, I don't quite get. But it's amazing. So it's 10:30 on a random Wednesday, not holiday at the moment or anything like that. Line, literally, around the block. Now I'm headed to one of my most favorite restaurants. It's a hard one to say which one is my favorite because I like so many of them, but this one is definitely floating at the top. The Boathouse. Let's do it. Tuna poke, I love that. If you love tuna poke, it's a fantastic version. And of course, the filet mignon slider will change your life. I don't even eat steak, I don't really like steak. This is the best slider on the planet. It's so good. Oh my God, look at the bird. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, this place is amazing. And when you get here in the morning, they open at 11. You basically have the whole place to yourself. I just love sitting at the bar. They keep all the doors open, it's so beautiful. Today's the most perfect weather on okay. earth, but you can see clearly like, yeah! <laughs> you have all of these great tables out here. I mean, it's just so good, but because it's so good, it gets filled up very quickly and becomes very crowded. Um, so probably would wanna get a reservation, but this is, uh, the mornings are perfect here. All right, so I lost my mind and I am now a brand new addiction at my age brand new addiction and it's called pandora now i see what all the fuss is about look at how beautiful this i have such a rose gold problem but now pandora it's the whole thing i mean it was like it's like buying a car like it was so exciting and fun and overwhelming but i highly recommend if you want to start just get a little bangle one charm and then just get one every now and then or have your significant other get one that's even better <gasps> ah, look at the boat, look at the boat. <laughs> see that's something you don't see every day only at disney that's <laughs> not amazing there's there's a car boat a boat car anyway loved pandora loved my experience there the store here is so beautiful incredible the people there are wonderful this girl spent literally half an hour with me while i lost my mind about how cute everything is um yeah so uh there you go <laughs>
totally tranquil and peaceful. <laughs> I know I've said it a million times, but it's truly something to be admired. I mean, I feel like this place is a hidden gem. I feel like it's so underrated. I actually think it's a moderate resort um, in terms of pricing compared to the deluxe ones. I think I could be wrong on that, but the pricing speaks for itself. But look how beautiful this is. So gorgeous. And they have the princess rooms. <laughs> My only dream would be that this sort of, it's, I don't know, it's not the right word for it, this motel vibe where you have the balconies with the doors outside. If there was a world where they could have chairs, that would be wonderful. But look at this. It's so beautiful. Okay, so I had an absolutely wonderful time yet again at the Port Orleans Riverside Resort. I cannot recommend this resort enough, especially if you just wanna to go to the parks, have fun, spend all that energy, and then come back to a place that is tranquil, peaceful, relaxing, and absolutely gorgeous. But most of all, it is worth every extra penny, and it's not that much more, to splurge for the princess room for the princess in your life, or to feel like a princess. Absolutely gorgeous theming, so much fun. And this one was next level than the first one I stayed at because this one has the river view. So as I showed you the, the view, looking over the river with the horse and buggies going by, the boats going by and waking up to this tranquil, gorgeous resort is just beautiful. So I highly recommend it. So I want to thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.